Hi everyone, in this tutorial series we are going to be setting up a basic dialogue system with typewriter effects and we are also going to look at how we can make it scalable so that we can add even more features in the future. Now we're going to be using object oriented programming along the way so do let me know in the comments section down below if there's something you would like me to explain even further and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. In this first part of the series we are going to be setting up a basic canvas and some basic UI in order to get all the setup covered. And in the next one we are going to be working on the typewriter effect. So just to make sure we're on the same page before we get started, I'm going to be using the 2x3 editor layout which you can find in the top right up here. And if you click that your Unity should look something like this. I'm also going to just expand these out a bit and give me a bit more room to breathe. Another thing I usually do is I go to my display settings and I set it to full HD or 1920 by 1080. If the setting doesn't appear for you, you can just click the plus down here and you can add it by typing in 1920 by 1080 and hitting OK. But since I've already got it, I won't be doing that. So I'm just going to be clicking full HD. Right, so that's my Unity settings. So I'm in an empty scene in a completely empty project. The only thing I've done is I've created this scripts folder here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a canvas. So if we right click here and we go UI and then canvas, we'll have created our little canvas here, which is where we're going to display the text. So if you double click it, you can see the entire thing. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the object that contains our dialog box. So create empty and let's just call it dialog box. And I'm going to put mine in the bottom center of the screen. So the way you can do that is you can click right here and you can hold down shift alt and then click this one here in order to set the anchor point. And I'm going to give mine a width of 1400 pixels and a height of 250. Once that's done, we're going to be adding a little bit of graphics to it so that we can actually see it. And the way we do that is we go right click UI and then image. And I wanted to fill out the entire dialog box. And the way I do that is I click this button right here, hold down shift alt and click right here. Just a quick side note, if you use the same width and height as I do, and you end up getting this issue where the dialog box extends past the screen boundaries. Well, all you have to do to fix that is you have to come down here, it says display one, and you have to set that to full HD 1920 by 1080, which I also mentioned in the beginning. And why this happens, we'll discuss more in the next video, and I'll show you how to set up the canvas to work properly with multiple resolutions, and we'll find the one that suits your game the best. Anyway, that's all you have to do to fix this. Finally, we'll add some text to it, and I'm going to be using Text Mesh Pro in this video here. So in order to add that, you right click dialog box, you go UI and text Text Mesh Pro. It's going to pop up with this little window here. You just hit import and we'll have our Text Mesh Pro Essentials installed. And you'll see that we have this text label right here. Now, obviously, we can't see it because it's white, just like the background. So if we come over here to the Text Mesh Pro UI component, we'll click in the vertex color and we can set that to black. There we go. Now, let's give it the proper size. We're going to start off by making it fill out the entire canvas or the entire dialog box. Same way as before, click in the anchor presets, shift alt and click right there. OK, next up, we'll give it a size that actually fits so that we have like three lines. You can do 10 lines if you want. I just prefer three. Um, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put this on a new line just like that. So we've got three lines and I'm going to come in here to the font size. I'm going to scale that up to something like 50, maybe let's try 60, 60 is good. And finally, we will um, also make sure that the text itself isn't like completely on the border here. And since we've already set up our anchors, all we have to do is type in how many pixels we want it offset. So I'll do 10. So let's see how it's shifted 10 pixels to the right. I'll do that with the top, the right and the bottom. And you'll see that it has actually properly centered itself. I'm also going to go ahead and give it a bit of line spacing. So we'll do something like 25. Yeah, that seems good. 
Uh, maybe a bit too much. Let's do 20. Right, there we go. So, double click our dialog box and we'll see if we have our setup. Now let's get some code written. So the first bit of code that we're going to be writing is something very simple in order to just show some text in here and verify that it actually works. So we're going to come over to our scripts folder. We're going to go create C sharp script and let's call it the dialog UI. This will be the main component responsible for drawing text to this field right here. So let's come into canvas, hit add component and we'll write dialog UI add that in there and we'll double click it open it up in our text editor and let's just get rid of all the default methods we also won't be needing either of those namespaces so let's get rid of those one namespace that we will need though is text match pro so let's import that and we're also going to be needing a reference to the text label so we'll do serialize field private tmp text call it text label save that and open up unity and we'll see that once we click once we click our canvas here we'll have a text label field in our dialog ui script and we just want to drag our text in there so that we have a reference to it let's go back into our text editor and let's write a method that just draws some text to it just to make sure that it works so we're going to write start get the unity start method in there and do text label dot text equals hello and let's also just to make sure that the new lines work we'll add in a backspace n for new line and do this is my second line so save that come back into unity and once we click play hopefully that should actually work and there we go so that's all for the setup. In the next video, we're going to be setting up a typewriter effect so that each character appears after the other instead of just appearing instantly the way it does now. So stay tuned for that and leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.